Hi everybody, how have we been? I've been doing pretty well. Um, originally, by the way, I got a new camera. I hope this makes an impact, a difference. I can already tell already. But anyway, I'm sidetracking already. But I was going to do a video on a new woodwick from Yiki Candle that came out. One of the three new spring ones that came out. However, um, after going to the store this past day and over the weekend, I feel like there's a few thoughts that I want to talk about. And this might turn into a blog slash rant video about Yankee Candle. It might probably turn into that. So you might see two videos, you might see one. I'll, we'll have to find out till the end or the title of the video. But yeah, so a little story time that I want to um, tell. I went to my go-to Yankee Candle store, if you would, over the weekend. Um, and I should probably mention this now because I don't think I've addressed this on the channel before, but I was a former Yankee Candle employee. I don't think I mentioned that I used to work for the company before because I was afraid that if I would, if I mentioned that I used to work there, I would, people would think that I have a positive bias towards the company or, you know, some sort of bias, or people would think that I was sponsored by Yankee Candle, but neither of that is true. I was a full-time assistant manager for a store. I was working there from June of 2018 to August 2019, so a little over a year. And this was before I had my channel or reviewed candles or anything like that. I wasn't doing any of that at the time working there. I wasn't even using candles from other companies at my, when I was working there. So that, you know, just to get that out there. So I, I moved from that town a year ago. So I don't go to that location that often but there's a bakery down there that my fiance and I love. So we went there over the weekend to go to the bakery and it was the daytime. So, you know, the store will be open. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll stop at Yankee while we're there. Come to find out that um, that store is now gone. It closed. And the funny thing is, is that when we went there the weekend before, it was still there. So I don't know if they knew they were going to close or they closed that quickly. It was just astonishing to me. But I had no idea. They also closed the store the next town over. Both of these stores happen to be strip malls. Um, the one at the mall is still open. Well, actually, the, the couple malls around here, those ones are all open. But the one I worked at, it was a strip mall, but it was a really nice strip mall. It wasn't a typical one. It had, there was like a movie theater. There were restaurants. There was you know, big stores, there were small stores. It was like a nice variety. Busier than a typical strip mall, but not as busy as like an outdoor Simon mall, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I just had no idea that that one was even closing in the first place. I had no warning, no, no nothing. And normally this wouldn't be like a surprise because we all know that they've been closing stores left and right. But I'm from Massachusetts. This is the heart of Yankee Candle, you know? So I know that stores have been closing, especially now because of the coronavirus, but I was just not expecting New England stores to be closing at this time. Just because that's that's Yankee Candle's, you know, that's their area, you know? With, that's their most popular market is New England. So I was just really, really shocked. I probably have a more sentimental attachment because that's the store that I worked at but I was just still really surprised to see them go I I mean I do have a mall store that I go to more frequently now because it's closer to me but obviously I have a personal connection to that one so I'm just like I was like wow I really wasn't expecting that um I do remember working there though there was a store in their district in our district at the time that closed and I remember my store manager saying like, oh, you know, you shouldn't worry about us closing because we still have our lease until January, 2021. 
It's now February 2021, and that location is now gone. So they really do mean it when they say that when leases are expiring, they're closing stores. So I've been hearing that from other, other channels. You know, it's it's the truth. Nowhere is safe, really. And the, like the store that I worked at, even though it wasn't a mall location, it was still a very well-performing store. We did have traffic. We had a lot of businesses coming for personalized candles, a lot of people buying in multiples. It was a really good location and, a re and an older location. That store opened, I believe, January of 2000. So 21 years at that location. You know, that's big. And I remember so many, like, people, like, district managers and stuff like that, like, higher-ups being like, oh, yes, that location, that's a, a good location, a very important location of the company to now see it gone. So, uh, and I think... I understand why, but there's a lot of reasons how, it, in my opinion, it ultimately came to this point. And if you would like to see a video on my thoughts working there, I would not mind doing that. Um, I don't know if there's a demand for it, but if people would like to see my thoughts and opinions on working for the company, if you know anyone is thinking about applying there or doing like a seasonal status there or wanting to work there if their local one is hiring um i wouldn't mind doing a video on what it was like to work for the company um i just don't know if that's something people would want to see um but i will do it if if the demand's there but ever since actually ever since newell bought the company is when it started to come to this point i really do and i just think that the cold coronavirus closure only accelerated um this further but i said there when i left the company i said i really don't expect to see yankee candle stores over the next five years and i still mean that and that was before you know the pandemic started before any of you know this thought of so i really still mean true to that statement when your store's lease is going to expire don't expect it to stay open because ever since Newell bought this company, they've really been relying more on wholesalers than actual store um, performances because you can get Yankee Candles anywhere now, even like your CVS. The stores aren't a big liability for the company's assets anymore. And it it's just surprising how they're still rolling with it. The other change, one, the prices have gone up. When I went today, I was surprised. First, you know, it was two for 36. That was their normal sale on large jars. And then last year went up to two for 40. And now I went today and now we're at two for 45. And it's just like, that's not even a good sale at all. For 29.50, that makes two of them 22.50. That, that's not, what is that? Like $7 off for, you know, 14 off. That's worse than actually buy one, get one half. If you think about it in that retrospect. So, you know, I, I thought maybe I would be the only one noticing because I work there. I know what the sales used to be, but no, it's pretty apparent. Um, I don't believe large, the candle prices have gone up this year yet, but I mean, we know the milk cups did. Um, the other like thing is all the products that they're trying to come out with. And when I went today, the manager was talking to me in a lot of detail because you know she knows she doesn't know that I used to work there but you know, I go there quite often now so she knows that I'm into you know reviewing and stuff like that and she was talking about the new signature jars that are supposed to come out um Philly Candleman if you follow him he has a better description on those new jars than I do but basically they're coming out with a new candle type that's a two wick soy blend um different type of lit top jar um, and it's to help with the candle burn better, I, I suppose. And some of them have metal lids, some of them have glass lids. And it's called the Signature Collection. I believe they're supposed to be, over the course of this year, 43 cents to come out in that collection. It's not going to replace anything, as of right now at least, but kind of like the Elevation Collection. It's its own collection of the, the, comp of the stores, but it, their own exclusive fragrances. Um... And they're supposed to burn longer 
done the large jars by like seven hours I think she said but there's that they were supposed to come out I think last week but there were, the day after they had to pull them off the shelves because there was a label issue and they wanted them all off the shelves because it was a sign of poor quality so yeah and she told me like she wanted to buy them but even the company wouldn't let them be purchased by employees because of the quality issue so but there's those those scent plugs with the fan scent plugs with the, the light now um the new um car fragrance port that goes in the lighter port um the, the sleep diffuser um those new jars um the replacements of the wax melts um the three wick candles uh i think i'm missing a couple the new reed diffusers they're coming out with new stuff it just seems like oh the hand sanitizers they're coming out with new stuff like every three months every time you get a coupon it just seems like there's a new product out and i don't know if it's to entice people to come back and buy more but yankee candle is a company of tradition of family tradition of you know classics it's not a company of innovation it it it's not supposed to be. Yankee Candle, we want that comfort, family feeling since 1970s of the fragrances that have been there through the dawn of time. You know, the cons the customers for a company like that is one to be tradition and to maintain the image. And they're doing exactly the opposite of that. They keep changing. And I understand that in a market like this, in the economy that they're in, in a time where online is overshadowing brick and mortar, a lot of retailers are succumbing to frequent changes like this to maintain their sales and to entice people to come into the stores rather than shop online. Yankee Candle is one of those companies that it's not going to work for them no matter what they do. Because their customer fan base are those who like the original Yankee Candle and want to maintain that. So it's just, I just wanted to talk about that because that's been on my mind for a while now. Oh, and the other thing, the other, I don't, they're coming, they're doing um, iPads for point of purchases now. So when I bought what I bought today, um, she did it on the iPad. It's a mobile register. And in my head, I'm thinking like, oh, if I was still there, why would they be doing that? I don't know if it's to have purchases at the sales floor, make people buy more. Um, maybe they're showing customers like selections online with the tablet because that was something we couldn't do. We could order things for customers online, but um, it didn't happen that often. A lot of people didn't have a need to do that. So maybe it's just to show the online catalog at the, on the sales floor. But yeah, I was just like, wow, you guys have so many changes. And normally that would be like an enticing like, wow, that's so cool. Like, I can't wait to go back. It's turning me away. Um, I know this is this message isn't going to, like, reach corporate or anything like that. But I'm just saying, as, ever since this company was bought by Newell Brands, it's just only been becoming more of a downfall. And if they keep continuing this route of quick product placement and getting rid of the family, the warmth, the comfort, signature classics that this company, like that the image in my head, the image in my mother's head when she bought these candles, the images of my family's head when, you know, when they've been buying these candles since the 70s, they're, they're, they're completely changing. They shouldn't even be calling it Yankee at this rate with all the changes that they've been doing. So, yeah. Um, I would like to know your thoughts on this if am I the only one but I know I'm not um I know a lot of people on this channel have been buying these candles for decades so I'm just kind of I'm I'm saddened I really am um this is a brand that is really deep with my family something that you know I was 
happy working there and just to see it kind of go downhill is really showing like how I don't even know like how driven away the company has turned into and I didn't make mean to make this like such a sad and solemn topic but I, this is something that has been in my mind for heads and the at the rate that they keep doing this I don't even think I want to be a customer again because this is not that's not what I want to shop for I don't want all these new gadgets and gizmos I just want my mid you know midsummer's night and macintosh so it, and it can throw well <laughs> that's all we want right so yeah it just goes to show that yankee is not listening to their people they're listening to their wallets and i still mean that statement i really don't see much progress heading in the direction for their brick and mortar stores maybe for their wholesalers or maybe for their online they're going to expand because those aren't going to go away but that's all I got. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blushing. Um, yeah, I might do my review in another video now because this has been 15 minutes. But um, this was just kind of like a sit down chat topic video that I wanted to share with you. So thanks for listening. If you listen to all of that, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on the company, um, on the progress, you know, what your recent experience was at the store. I would like to know if there's any new things that I've missed, because I probably have. I haven't been in the store in a while, but yeah, let me know, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.